Welcome to Wawa. With your host, Rock O'Banion. I'm Bobby Khan. Uh, hello. Hello, Wawa. Um, uh, there was an interviewer here a while ago, but I think he's gone. Um, well, as you can see, uh, my collection has grown in the past few years. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's gotten pretty nice. I just, uh, I just got this one uh, yesterday. It's a Hoyer. Uh, I don't play it very often. Uh, and then there's this one. It's, um, it's uh, a guitar. Uh, this is my blue guitar. Um, this, is, this is a special one. It's um, made in Japan. Uh, the, uh, all this is uh, carved out of a giant tree. We're just inside of an actual tree. The tree, the circumference is uh, 20 meters and it's over 700 feet high. And I have a penthouse at the top. Here's some of my other, this is, see this? I made this myself in the wood shop down here. So you can see back in through here, we have a wood shop where I do, where I make most of these guitars. Uh, this wall is all guitars that I made. Uh, this one I like to call Lakewood. Uh, and uh, this one I like to call the, my Tacoma model. It's uh, pretty nice, it, you know. It's got sort of a, oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's warm. It's uh, kind of warm and fat sounding. Drank champagne and laughed all night. And people said we were never gonna get it right. So I made this one. It took me um, took me about uh, three weeks to make this. <clears throat> and uh, oh, here's my very favorite one I ever made. It's uh, I call this my really big one. And uh, it took uh, a long time to get. This is all. Uh, these are all rhinestones, in through here. Uh, and then. Uh, Here's my line of custom uh, Bobby Con USA picks that uh, I have. Each one has a picture of me on it. So you can see the resemblance to me. And uh, here's another picture of me. This is me. This is, this is the way I look. Here's another. Here's another. Uh, there's another. Yeah, no, it's the same picture of me. Anyway. I wanted to have them all like uh, different pictures. These ones, uh, something kind of crazy, like aliens. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. 
Uh, this is my tuning center. Uh, I don't really have a very good ear for pitch, uh, but... Uh, All right, welcome back. And now we're going to have one of Chicago's hottest young stars doing a special version of his hit song on Trump's truck, truck Stop Records. Please welcome Mr. Bobby Kahn. performance. Wow. Um, are you okay? I'm a little out of breath. Yeah. I can understand why. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. What makes this a special version of your truck stop well, hit? The original version is more of an adult version. How, how, how's that? Well, it's not really important. 
Uh, <laughs> but this would say that this one is, it focuses on the political aspect as opposed to the other aspect of the song. So it's for the kids, because I think kids got to learn early that, that the man is out there and he wants to take stuff from us and we don't, gotta, we don't have to give it to him. Totally. Well, that, was, that message was received yeah. loud and clear today. Totally. Thank you. Well, as you can see, this cabin that, uh, uh, I mean, we spent most of the two years really hollowing out this tree. I mean, it took uh, a lot of time. I did most of this with a chainsaw, just working alone. Um, and I carved out, first I carved out a bathroom, because it's most important that you have a place to, you know, a pot to piss in. And then we just sort of carved out more sections of the tree. And, uh, you know, here in Colorado, um, it was, it was just, we just saw the mountaintop and we just that saw, we saw this tree and we were like, it's going to be a real shame to have to cut that tree down. It was like, and then Monica had the idea, well, let's just build the house inside the tree. And I'm like, oh, that's perfect. So, uh, so that's what we did. And that took about two years. And then we, uh, we made the recording studio is down in the roots of the tree because this record, I think, gets at my roots and I wanted it to be made in roots. You understand? So, you know. Like, like in this route, we'd have like the drum booth, and then we'd have like vocal chamber here, and the control room was over here in this route, and then over here we had, uh, this is actually where we have a, like our laundry and our washing or dryer we have over in this route. We don't actually use this route for recordings. I'm just fold that route back up. And then back in this route, um, we have the furnace, which keeps the whole place warm. So it's really just these three routes, the uh, drum room, the vocal chamber, and then the control room, or the, but that's how we made the record, was here inside the Tree Studio. I call it Tree Studios here in Colorado.